What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 21, Problem 3 in the Fundamentals of Physics 10th Edition Textbook by Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 21 is all about Coulomb's Law. And in Problem 3, we are given two point charges and the electrostatic force between them and asked to find how far apart they are. And so, according to Coulomb's Law, the electrostatic force between two point charges is equal to the absolute value of charge one times the absolute value of charge two divided by four times pi times epsilon naught times r squared. So we have electrostatic force, absolute value of charge one, absolute value of charge two, epsilon naught is the vacuum permittivity constant, and r is the distance between your two point charges. And in the problem, since we are looking for that r, we can divide both sides by f and multiply both sides by r squared. And if we do that, we're going to find that r squared is equal to the absolute value of charge 1 times the absolute value of charge 2 divided by 4 times pi times epsilon naught times f. And now we can take the square root of both sides to isolate that r. And so that'll give us r is equal to the square root of the absolute value of charge 1 times the absolute value of charge 2 all over 4 pi times epsilon naught times the force. And in the problem we are given both of these charges, we're given the force and epsilon naught is a universal constant so we have all the values we need here to plug in and so we can do that. So this is going to be equal to the square root of the absolute value of 26 microcoulombs times the absolute value of negative 47 microcoulombs divided by 4 times pi times 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12th Coulomb squared divided by Newton times meter squared times the force, which we are told is 5.7 Newtons. And one thing we need to consider here is we have microcoulombs times microcoulombs, so this is going to be microcoulombs squared, and here we have coulomb squared. And so we need to convert these microcoulombs into standard units so they can cancel out with the coulombs, and so the way that we're going to do that is introduce a conversion factor here, and there are 1 times 10 to the 6th microcoulombs in 1 coulomb. And since we have microcoulomb squared up top, we need to square this term so we get microcoulomb squared to coulomb squared. And if you plug that entire thing into your calculator, you will find the distance between the two point charges to be 1.39 meters. And that is the final answer to this problem. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.